this is Donna Kessler from the Time Child Record and welcome to another edition of My Ride Web Show. An Oregon company that makes electric motorcycles thinks it has a homegrown solution to the nation's energy woes. To prove it, the company has sent two riders from Detroit to Washington recreating the trip of auto company CEOs looking for government help. Bramo and Company of Ashland, Oregon makes the all-electric inertia motorcycle, which sells for 10, 12 grand. The company's chief engineer and advertising executive rode nearly 600 miles from Detroit in 45 mile increments, the distance the bike can travel on one charge. But the trip took 10 days in part because the riders stopped frequently to charge up and they met with the public and the news media. The men are meeting with lawmakers and hope to meet with the Obama administration to explain electric motorcycles benefits for commuters. The new national speed run record of 165.8 mile per hour on a Victory motorcycle was set on September 3rd by Greg Moe of the BUB Motorcycle Speed Trials on the Bonneville Flats Salt Flats. Greg ran a time of 166 miles an hour on the Victory Kingpin and backed it up with a run at 165.6 miles per hour, giving him an average of 165.8. That goes into the American Motorcyclists Association record books for the 200 MAG class. This is also the fastest victory motorcycle as well. The previous class record of 163 miles per hour had stood since 1973. The engine was built by Lloyd Motor Works in Pine Bush, a victory performance shop owned by Lloyd Greer and Adam Torchio. There were a lot of late nights in cam development and cylinder head flow to yield a very strong yet powerful motor capable of competing in such a competitive class. Adam built a different pipe for it as well, a two into one that wouldn't interfere with his feet. This has been a great accomplishment for both Greg and Lloyd's Motor Works. Congratulations to all. It was a bit of a chilly day, but folks came out to the second annual Washington Heights Fire Department Car Show on October 11th for some hot chili and steamy soup provided by the Ladies Auxiliary. Games for the kids, raffles and door prizes were also on the menu for the day's event. Among those who participated were the Middletown Police Department Assault Vehicle, that was on display along with the um, town of Wolfkill Dare Car. The Catskill Fire Cats also brought by one of their fabulous fire trucks. And the highlight of the day for the kids was the chance to use the fire hose during a demonstration by the department firemen. Trophies were handed out later in the day to the best vehicles. Department volunteers were very appreciative to all who helped out and to those who sponsored the event. Plans are already in the works for next year and they hope it's bigger and better. Here are the events for this weekend. The Tri-State Car Club of Middletown is holding their Halloween cruise night on October 30th at the Wholesale Liquidators Mall in front of Middletown Flea Market on Dawson Avenue in Middletown from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. This is their last cruise night of the season. A trunk or treat will be held on October 31st at McDonald's on Route 208 in Maybrook at 3 p.m. hosted by the Orange County Mustang Club. There will be a costume contest for the kids, games, and prizes. So bring your car, fill it with candy in the trunk, Awards for Best Decorated Cars, it's held in conjunction with their final All-American Saturday Night cruise in of the season. The Duchess Cruisers Car Club is also holding their Halloween Cruise Night October 30th at Hopewell Auto Parts parking lot on Route 376 in Hopewell Junction from 6 to 9 p.m. All the local car clubs always welcome new members. Visit recordonline.com slash myride for a whole list of the clubs and their meeting times and locations. If your club is holding a toy run, toy drive, or any other holiday event, please don't hesitate to send it along to me for the event list. Email the info to me at dkessler at th-record.com. My shout out today goes to all the car and motorcycle clubs and all those who supported the bike nights and cruise nights. It has been a great season and I am looking forward to the next one come spring. This is Donna Kessler for My Ride Web Show. See you next time.